In the world of bees, there's something called altruistic sacrifice. Bees will basically die away from the colony to try to protect the colony from any illness the bee may have. Now it happens often because bees kind of go through a circle of life and when they get older they literally work themselves to death. I mean they can't even access their flight muscles anymore and because of that they leave. So whenever beekeepers look at their colony it's normal to see some bees crawling on the ground going the opposite direction from their hive. Now I always make sure to monitor mite levels and check for pest levels, but there's so many things that affect honeybees these days. There's over 23 viruses, etc., that sometimes things are beyond what you even realize. And it's good to sometimes pick those bees up and take a look. Now I've slowed the video down a little bit, but ladies and gentlemen, on the right side of your screen, there is a little red half circle and that is a varroa mite. It is currently tucked in between a segment on the abdomen of a honeybee and it's tucked underneath on the bottom side of the honeybee to where a beekeeper can't see it and interestingly enough other bees in a colony don't really notice either. Now that varroa mite is feeding on what is the equivalent of the human liver and at the same time, it's transferring one of p potentially 23 different viruses that further affect the colony. I dislodged the mite from underneath the bee and it ran to the top of the bee's abdomen. As you can see, no matter how hard the bee tries, it can't remove the mite that's attached tightly to the hairs of the bee. Here's that same varroa mite walking on my fingertips. 